Hi everyone, we are really happy to be with you on this Tuesday. We're filming today from our little art center um, that the children have had an art center for a while and they've taken to decorate it and make it their own that they can have this room to come in and create and just to engage with God in special ways in here, um, which is really exciting. And we're called in so many ways to engage with God, whether it's through our creativity, whether it's through our interactions with others, and just how we take and have an eye to see the world. And so Rob's gonna share a little bit about that right now. One way, that way in which we engage with God is uh, through the book club. We're just finishing up this book, Holy Envy by Barbara Taylor Brown, and as with all the books we've read, I found inspiration and illumination. Uh, at one point in the book, she cites a rabbi who said something very wise. The great challenge of our faith is to see the likeness of God in those who are unlike us in appearance, in language, or in thought. In the book, she also talks about Jesus' parable of the Last Judgment in Matthew 25, where the sheep and the goats are separated out in the whole entirety of humanity. The sheep and the goats, neither one knows which one they are because they don't know the criteria for making the distinction. It turns out, the one who's judging them says, I've been coming to you in various disguises. And he said, I may come to you hungry, I may come to you uh, thirsty, I may come to you as somebody imprisoned, I may come to you as somebody unclothed. One of the things that oftentimes people don't remember uh, is saying that he comes to buy as a disguise he uses, you know, I come to you as a stranger in need of welcome. So when he separates the sheep and the goat, what turns out is the sheep didn't know that they were doing something right, and the goats didn't know they were doing something wrong because they were faked out by the disguise. What's the solution? Well, I think the solution is to treat everybody we meet as if it were the final judge, the great God, coming to us in disguise and honoring they're being made in the image of God and treating them as if we were dealing with God himself. And so that takes a creative eye, not to just say something's going to be a certain way, but to look at what the potential is or what the hidden gift is or what the hidden beauty is. So we encourage you to have eyes to look for that hidden beauty that you might engage with others, that you might welcome the world, that you might welcome God in all you meet. Have a mm. great week and we will see you next week. Bye-bye. God bless you.